Welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze big stories in the world of entertainment and, of course, have um, trending lifestyle conversations as it affects us all. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwashoke. It's popping. Hi. They are twinning today. Aww. Mm. Uh, mm. Your yeet, your, the yeet, your yang. No, please. Aww. Uh, if he copies me, I don't oh. know. We're not, we're, he was just like, oh, how can I, how can I be more like you feel mine? Today, before, you know? before driving to work, I drove to a house and I looked for <laughs> What are you wearing today? I saw it, then I drove back, back home. Are you white? Right? I drove to Amazing. work. Amazing. Exactly. I hope you are putting the same energy into the protest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, talk about the protest, though. What do you think so far? Mm. So far. I've been all about reformation, as we all know, mm -hmm. but um, I'm standing with everyone right now because the things we are demanding are things that are not limited to just the answers. Or now we're talking about police brutality. We're talking about the ways we have been treated in the past. I'm talking we're about talking... the National Assembly salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're talking about furniture. We're and, talking about a lot. Allowance. We're what talking about, about a it? lot of things. So I stand with the Nigerian youth because now we have their eyes and ears. Mm -hmm. So now that we have them, they are visualizing did, us. Did you want they are the hearing us. Of SARS or you want a reformation of the police? I want to, not not just SARS. I wanted the reformation of a lot of things. And but so if your, we have to stay in context, mm -hmm. if we have to stay in context, I'll say I want a reformation of, of the police force. force. Yeah. Oh, okay, and we in wanted general. that. Yeah. In fact, yeah. not just the police of all. Forces. We want information of Nigeria. <laughs> no, no, that we want. But since we, let's stay in context now, we want reformation. I'm of asking the because you were always force. opposed to ending SARS. You know that hashtag end SARS. You were always saying you didn't want to end SARS. You no, he's always wanted SARS. reformation of the police force, not right. Mm. Not reformation of SARS. Yeah. No, right. not just SARS. Not just SARS. SARS right. is under Nigeria police force anyway. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so what it's, do you it's think very, it's very blended. I, I have to, I have to say, I'm really proud. Really, really proud. We've made a point. Yesterday when I was going home, I was thinking, after the protest at Togit, I was thinking to myself, why are all those noisemakers who keep saying that Nigerian youths don't rally up for things except from Big Brother Niger? Because we come out in our numbers. If that was a concert yesterday, it would have been a very successful concert. I think if the crowd see, was if they could big. see the future... They would have begged Big Brother Ninja to explain. Continue, to yes. Continue. Because if I like big after Big Brother Ninja, they turned on them straight. Yes. Yeah. And so I feel like but I'm guess really, what? Really when you this, say that, um, when people say that we're the Nigerian youth, when it's time for us to um, rally around and do stuff, this is just one of its kind. Mm. It's not like we have always been like this. So we shouldn't start making ourselves. You know, they say. Uh, I actually think we they, have. They I say, think we've we've protested many times. We've got we've really? done Nigerian yeah. youth, yes, not just in mass. Yes. Yes. Not just yes. That's what I'm saying. Like this is the first of its kind where we all came out and people from different spheres of life people from different walks uh, entertainers not, not the first of its, it's kind. not i it's mean really what happened not. in 1993 even if they like to call it like a riot but that was a protest that as was well a, that was you see the age group coming up yeah that the was the age at the time as well so you can't so Nigerian youth take that a, away as a people yeah. have not been okay you know, so even okay. the people you if call you the older generation were watching this is just um just one of a kind. Okay, maybe let's, kind. let's just move on because we definitely have yeah. a guest that would um, be sharing his um, experience as mm. a Nigerian mm. and what he thinks about the generational, what would I call it now, generational failure mm. <laughs> or something like that. But mm. moving on real quick, today is Global Hand Washing Day with the theme Hand Hygiene for All. And as every year, today serves as a day to raise awareness on the importance of hand washing with soap. This year is even more important to raise awareness as the world is still battling COVID-19 pandemic. I'm sure we're forgetting that for a minute because we're all about NSAS and SWAT, you know. Oh, um, but COVID-19 is still there. And I see people having their face masks on anyway. Mm. So please take this as a reminder to not um, forget washing your hand, really. Um, it's the simplest way to prevent the spread of any virus and ensure better health outcome for all. And besides, if you like to eat like me, you need to be washing your hands regularly mm. because you don't, you never know when the food comes. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. But aside that, though, like you rightly said, COVID-19 is still a serious plague in, 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 in the world. I don't want to say Nigeria alone. In the world, and there are, a lot of people seem to have forgotten that there is still COVID-19. Mm. You see people now trying... You see people that you haven't seen in a while. In fact, maybe I saw you like 
a month ago and you gave me the elbow but you see me a month later and you want to shake me fully like bro we're still on the elbow level we've not gotten our friendship i've not gone past elbow <laughs> do you understand so at the end of the day people still need to remember that look there's still well, COVID-19. Your friendship has gone past elbow level, regardless. Mm. No, there's still people who are hurt. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are people that are still organized, still cuddle. Uh, and that's because I'm probably with them a mm. lot. Yeah, sure. And, and I see them and we probably share they, the same circle like of time. Do they shower before you hug them? Mm -hmm. What? Do they shower before you hug them? Um, there's some that don't even need to shower before I lick them. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that um you know this 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 day has come in the time that it has come I've, at first when i thought about it i said this has been going on before because mm. i have never heard of it until this year mm. and i guess it sticks more something that my brain is even deciding to you know hold more seriously because of the plight i remember sending the picture of my protest to my family group and my mom said something really interesting I she was like no we don't have cousin Yemi. No, have <laughs> <laughs> my mom said something really interesting that this this that this picture represents a loss of 2020 because mm -hmm. there was a face mask and there was a protest plaque like in what in what world will I have thought, give me even January this year, that I'll be wearing a face mask, nah, holding a protest. A, a protest plaque. Like, the chances of that are really odd. So it's, a, it's an interesting year, and it definitely has taught me to um, cultivate the habit of, of washing my hands. So I, I, I like this. this yeah. um, okay, so this on update. a lighter note, guys, billionaire daughter and Nigerian DJ Florence Otedola Popularly known as DJ Copy, joins the protest yesterday. Joined the protest yesterday in the comfort of her home, but under okay. the rain. She shared a video of herself standing under the rain and holding a placard against police brutality and SARS. In her caption, she said the rain and self isolation could not stop her from joining the fights. I personally don't know how I feel about this. Okay, so big shout out to her. Okay. Uh, at first, I didn't know how I felt about it too. But now you do. But now I think I figured it out mm -hmm. because um, she flew in from Dubai uh -huh. just to join this protest. Yeah. And the right thing for any responsible citizen of any country should do is that when you have an international flight, you isolate yourself for 14 days. Mm. So she's currently doing that self-isolation. She mm -hmm. can't be around all of us for 14 days. If I see DJ Copy in as much as I love her, and the protest ground today which i will be there later today if i say i will avoid that because you are just coming back i don't know what you brought back with you do you understand so it's okay to do it from the comfort of your home and like i said earlier it don't matter how you are protesting now i said i've only been to the protest ground once and this has been going on for close to a week right now it don't mean that i am not um vested in in in, in the course of the nigerian youth right i am really vested in it but i'm doing it the best way i can i'm doing it by a I'm doing it via my, my, my sitting on this table. I'm doing that, my advocacy. I'm talking about it. So if you have to go and stand, well, like you see, but what I didn't get is that why did you wait for it to stop and just mm. do it from uh, your bedroom? So that you, you know that she's feeling the impact as well. I well, mean, if you're coming from your angle, then I get why she would. Because people are out there under the rain and she mm. felt like she needed the rain to touch so, her. So as well. it's allowed. What was with this it's costume? Totally allowed. What? What's with she's, this I don't know what's up with the African look these days, but huh? I think it's part of it. I is think this is Africans look. Ekbe now. Oh. Ekbe Africans. They, they, they like Ankara. Sure, they comment? like Ankara mixtures. Copy is a vibe. <laughs> they have a serious vibe. Pink uh, vibe. I, 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 don't, I don't understand her sometimes. I, I really don't. This is one of the things that I don't understand either. And to be honest, I don't even understand to a point where I cannot judge it. Like, I cannot say that. <laughs> I swear. Like, I can't even say you that. That's you're for it. Yeah. Like, I can't say You, all you, you, you just don't get way. it. I don't get like, it. Just be I don't sis. understand. Like, I'm not offended. I'm not impressed. I'm not, like, I'm just, I, I've looked at it a couple of times. Like, okay. <laughs> I scratch my head because I can see how she's talking to somebody as well. Like she's nodding her head to someone she, that was. She, she, she that was like she's nodding her head. Like, yeah. can't you see I'm a, I'm, you are fired. I will fire you. You are wasting time. I mean, <laughs> that was how she was looking. Like the whole thing is, is interesting. I I mean, who am I to say how somebody can join the protest? You understand? Yeah. I, I like that. The only thing I can pick out of the story is that I like that she wants to be part of mm. this mm. thing. That's mm -hmm. what I see. I and see. I see serious formal 
cut as in catching copy like this like copy wants to be part of us she wants to be on the rally she wants to get involved i don't know if that's because of pressure i really don't know but mm -hmm. it seems that you know she, wants she really wants to be part of that and i think yeah. i appreciate that and i appreciate now, the honesty the as well. outfit the well. pink <laughs> and the ankara and the rain and the, yeah, she's the looking the african uh, type you know, like, like, if only was african she's look, an interesting character i have to give her that but let's not um also take it away from her that she has supported the protest financially mm -hmm. and how did i know this of course i'm not her account officer we found uh, out um via a tweet um from i think it's fk abudu now mm -hmm. where she retweeted a she quote mm -hmm. retweeted a tweet where someone was asking copy that if she can't come out physically that she can at least um support Donate. by donating and then she replied saying that she actually saw cop um, copies donation Coming. I don't know if that's safe for her or anything, but yeah, it's out there. She has supported financially. And then so, I, ca I yeah. can't take away the tweet I saw yesterday. I think that was the most touching tweet I saw yesterday where they said um, 600 billion naira was um, donated for um, relief for COVID-19. Mm -hmm. No Nigerian came out to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But 25 million, I said 600 mm -hmm. billion naira, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But 25 million We're naira was donated for the NSARS movement and the mm -hmm. protesters. And no one has come out to see that they did not get food, mm. they did not get uh, welfare. Did you see it? Yeah, we saw it. And then I just want that. the Nigerian government to remember that you didn't do this. They need the to Nigerian count youth their teeth with their did this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you go? Mom. However, they should I just learn and start. Yeah. But then, an update on the 25 million is gone from 25 million to about 33 million. We yeah. have money, Shana. Yeah, yeah, that's money. what I said yesterday. Our one is working. But anyway, tea time continues right after the short break. Thank you.